What's going on everybody? Welcome to part two of our data visualization with Python and Matplotlib tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about uh, legends, titles, and labels within Matplotlib. So graphs sometimes can be relatively self-explanatory, especially if they're input into some sort of context. Uh, but generally, it's a good idea to have a title and labels on your X and Y axes. And then also a legend can also be really helpful, especially if you're plotting multiple you know, series of data. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and hop right in. So first of all, when you're graphing in matplotlib, chances are you're not gonna actually have any like hard-coded variables. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't be using a programming language. You would just, I don't know, plug it into Excel or something like that. So at the end of the day, usually what happens is you have X and X is a list and Y and Y will be a Python list too. And then you have some function that populates X and Y. But for now, I mean, we can just uh, we can just take our old values here, cut and paste, and we'll just say x and y, and we'll just pretend that this was a function. <laughs> it's not, but we'll pretend that for now. So, uh, first of all, what we want to do is we can add titles and labels, and the way that we're going to do that is we just do it before we call the dot show, and so after the plot, we can come down here and we can say plt dot, and then we can say x label. And this will be for that, you know, bottom axis, the x axis. And we can just call this the uh, plot number and then the plt dot y label. And we call this the uh, important var, because that's what it is. And, uh, and that should be it. Uh, we, the next thing we can do is we can also add a title. So we can say plt.title. And in here, we can say, um, we can call this an interesting graph. And what you can do in a title, first let's, I guess we'll bring this one up and then I'll show you guys one more thing. But, uh, so let's go ahead and save and run that real quick. And here we see we've got this interesting graph title. We've got the x-axis, well, the x-axis down here and the y-axis over here. And also you can take note that the y axis is automatically like flipped a little bit there. So it goes up and down vertically rather than horizontally. So this is just automatically done for you and it's mostly just to save space. But anyways, you can see we've got this title. It's a little larger than these numbers down here and all that. And later on, we'll talk all about customization. Like everything in matplotlib is customizable. So we can also change the font sizes and all everything basically <laughs> here. So anyway, uh, so we have that. Now, like what if like a lot of people have like subtitles, there is a way to do subtitles in matplotlib, but a lot of times this is good enough where you'll have interesting graph and then you use a new line character. So that's a backslash n. So that backslash is right above your enter key. So backslash n, um, check it, whoops, check it out. Make sure you don't add a space there. Cause if you had a space there, it'll add that space on the new line. Like it'll start with a space and that's not what you want. So we could do something like that. We'll save and run that. And uh, sure enough, there you go. Interesting graph, check it out, cool, and all that. So um, we'll go ahead and close out of this. And now the only other thing I wanna cover is legends. So um, the, the reason why you would have a legend is maybe if you had two, two lines. So let's go ahead and add an X2 and a Y2. And let's just give them, um, we'll do one, two, and three again. But then the Y2 will be, let's just make all these numbers over 10. So let's do 10, 14, 12. So now what we can do is we can go plt.plot and then x2, y2, okay? And uh, to do a legend, basically you can, all you have to do is just invoke the legend. So you can just do plt.legend. And now we have a legend element here, but we have no nothing to put in the legend, so there's no way for matplotlib to just know <laughs> what our lines are. So we use a, a keyword argument in this pyplot.plot, and that is going to be label. And so we say label equals, and then the string of what we want. So we would call this the you know first line, and then we would call this second one here. We would say label equals, and then we'll just say this is the second line. So that's that. Now all we need to do is save and run that. And there you go. Now you've got your two lines. Here's a line up here and here's a line down here. 
Now, this is just a really simple and quick, you know, intro kind of few videos here. So, as you can see, we're uh, we've got this line that's running through our legend. That's obviously not what you want happening. So later on, we'll be talking about uh, how to customize the legend so that does not happen. But for now, this is good enough just to show the legends exist. So um, that's it for now. We've got the labels now and legends and basically a lot of the required elements to make your graph a little more easy to understand. If you have any questions or comments about this, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.